and I'm wearing underneath this sweatshirt. I'll link it for you below. But that, cosy as So I thought I would do a what I wore video. As you know, I haven't done one of these in ages, a few months actually. And I figured, you know, this is fall, this is November. This is the time to do it. So I thought I'd just get stuck in and show you what I've just been wearing recently. One or two new things sprinkled in for the what I wore. But before that, I am gonna show you some new pieces I got in for Urban Revivo. I partnered with them before. You lot have loved their pieces just as much as I have. I actually do wear their tweed jackets because I love them that much. These jackets are just flipping ridiculous. They're cropped perfectly. Just like this with a pair of Look how, <gasps> that actually looks really good. This, this looks so chic. All I'm doing is just wearing a pair of like Ganny jeans and a t-shirt. But this is like a classic way that I would wear their jackets. And, and look at the sleeves, look how nice they just fit. On. It's just like the perfect cut. I have long arms, look where they hit. It's just such nice detailing on there. And like I said, it's real buttons. It's not like sort of fake trying to look like buttons. So simple. I'll show you the cutaways just so you can see full length of this. But I just think this is such a good jacket. Their jackets always hit at the right spot. And I really like the color combination of this one because it's like a true like black and white. It's a sh wow, this one is really nice though. Love it. Look at the shoulders. Look how square they look. And it's so affordable as well. So that's why I just love showing you their jackets. This is the cream one, and really classic. These Urban Reviver Chanel type of jackets are so good to dress up or down. They look like a classic jacket. The attention to detail and just that texture of it as well of the jacket. They don't skip. I've teamed it with a pair of shorts. These are like a classic pair of like tailored shorts. Like I'm wearing with like knee high boots. I'm actually going to show you the cutaways. I just wear like a polo neck under this and swap out this t-shirt. They are, they do some really good stuff. As you know, I own cargos. I talked about cargos last week's video, I think. Cargos and this cropped short jacket. I'm going to mix up showing you the jackets to break up and show you this in fantastic uh, tunic knit that I just flung on with a pair of men's vintage trousers that I have. This is so good. Wear this over like a white shirt over a t-shirt just showing you it just like this first of all it has like little ties on the side and look how good this looks together this is like celine phoebe philo just add a pair of like white sneakers it's so good i'm going to leave all the links for these below and i do have a, a discount code for you as well um it is ribbed and the neck nice and high which is exactly how i like it that kind of just simple minimalist designer look and it's not that price tag. I'm gonna go on and show you something else I got from them. Look how easily this goes over this, by the way, because there's no sleeves, right? And again, look, the detail of it. At the moment, I'm just being loving getting the fix of a Chanel jacket. You know, such a low price means that you can get to try so many different colors and different styles. You work in an office, if I worked in, I don't even work in an office and I'm wearing these jackets. You know, I'm mixing them, matching them with like my jeans and my cargo pants. But if I did work in an, in an office, obviously I would I'd have like rows of these. And I just added the bag as well. And this bag also is by Urban Revival and it has that Chanel-esque kind of vibe to it. That tweed look, which is perfect for this time of the year. That kind of fabric bag. Look at that with a chain strap. See this looks, look how chic this outfit is. I could easily just walk down the streets and stuff like this. And it just looks so, like I said, effortless. And I'm just wearing with a pair of like men's, men's tailored trousers, but they do have tailored trousers as well so definitely check out their website see how easy it is to look like a million bucks and to not spend that it's all in the pieces where do you buy them all about how you put it together this is so f oh my god this is super chic all right i'm going to keep the same vest on and i'm going to try on this so so good the fit look how nicely it looks with their jackets their quality of these bloody jackets just so good. How are they able to create such fantastic looking pieces that don't break the bank? And here's one of their bags, the same effortless office vibe. But just switch to a pair of like trainers and it looks like something that you just wore, just like fling on and have like a really casual, but still chic look. I like the gold trim on it, chain like trim. 
that is running down on both sides of the jacket on top of this tweed like material it looks so much more expensive in person this cardigan probably the oh god look at the trimming on it though which looks like a jacket whoa look at this with jeans game over this is like one of their bags as well it's like a quilted type of bag and i really like it because it's just black and white it's a cardigan but it's the smartest cardigan i've ever worn again functioning pockets i found this shirling aviator style jacket i just had to show it to you it's such an easy fling on piece slightly cropped you can still get your hands in your pockets if you want to little detailing on the side with the buckle and again you know how it is the pricing on urban it just can't be beat. Any kind of jackets that's like this is me. I'm just wearing it with the same jeans, but super easy, right? Look at that. Just like the acne jackets, it has like the buckle. It's really cold and just like snuggle into it. Just nice and dull and matte and it's got like a pebbledy kind of texture to it. I own an acne jacket. I've had mine for about, honestly, about six years now. And these kind of style jackets, they're always around. They're not a trend, but look at this coat dark chocolate brown wow how good is this coat though a lighter brown underneath which kind of black god this is so chic grab my bag and let me show the cup ways on so good and i have a code for you karen b and it's going to give you 10 percent off anything from urban revivo i'm leaving everything tagged below but this is so freaking good look at the shoulders look how sharp that is hands in the pockets so everything i'm wearing right now is urban so chic like the whole I've literally put an outfit together for you one of the last accessories I got is this wide belt and all I did was just belt it over the Urban Revival Gilet I'm gonna call this a Gilet just to give it that change in shape put this from them you know how you got the outfit you want to wear when it rains or that coat you want to wear this is it for me because it's gonna look good right with your umbrella and you've got this on and you've got like your bag like crossbody and you're just like going along the street now you've got your, like your boots on you like oh it's raining but you just look really good and put together oh it's like a croc finish to it as well i just have like a black and white bag or like a red bag like, code karen b 10 percent off from urban revival my links are in the description box Flip it, eh? this is ridiculous anyway what i wore well, hello everybody. I'm trying to do like a what I wore and I don't know how I'm going to do it from here, but let's go. Where are the shoes? The shoes. Where are the shoes? The shoes. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I wore because I'm heading out. Sorry, everything is a bit of a mess. You mean these shoes? Oh my God, they're amazing. They're so good. Anyway, so that's what I'm wearing. You can't see the heel. There you go, now you see the heel. So I'm wearing those shoes. I'm wearing it with this bustier top. Let's see, I'll come around a little bit. The place is an absolute state because we've still got renovations going on. And I'm wearing my Sir, Mr. Sir or Sir. They are shorts, basically. I have Ugg boots on at the moment. So that's like Instagram versus reality right there. And then I'm gonna have this coat, which is by Ganny. I got this, I think it was like February so much earlier on in the year it slightly goes in and i just love the cut of it it's such a nice cut so i just did smoky eye makeup just simple jewelry on both sides and that's kind of it that's the whole look so it's just black basically a pair of shorts and it's got, it kind of looks like i'm wearing a shorts jumpsuit with like a long blazer and then i'm going to have those shoes on so i'll insert some footage of maybe some scenes from the evening um, it's a presentation with Jimmy Choo and they kindly loaned me a pair of these shoes, shoes to wear. But I'll show you some footage on the screen of the reel or whatever we came up with afterwards. Anyway, see you later. Bye. Hello. So another day. I'm heading out and I thought I'd quickly show you what I've got on. So basically black and greens, just realised. So I've got on the big vest, which you saw I mentioned in last Friday's video. I'll link that video if you've not seen it. So I've got that on and it's really, really warm. It's got pockets, I love it. And I have it in cream as well. I really, really like these. Every time it's uh, fall and it's colder season, this vest comes out because I just think it's so nice. Underneath, I am wearing Frankie Shop sweatshirt, padded shoulders. It's weird because I feel like a linebacker because this has padded shoulders 
as does this sweatshirt. So my shoulders are like massive right now. But it's like an olive green color. I've had this for about a couple of years now and I love it. Underneath, I have on my pants, these are by Legends, 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 L apostrophe A G E N C E, that brand. They're new in, they're high waisted. I think they're a size too big. So I might tailor the waist, but they're basically kind of like a boot cut trouser because they're kind of like slim on the thigh and then from the knee, they kind of flare out. And I'm not wearing them like with what you're supposed to wear, which is uh, like with like a heeled boot. I'm just wearing a pair of Uggs because I love Uggs and I don't care. I'm one of those who's into it. In fact, Michael, he has decided that he kind of likes them because he's actually borrowed these and he's thinking that they're really comfortable even though he's one of those that swears that he would never wear Uggs. So I'm wearing Uggs right now and these are the olive greens and they're like this height there. And that's kind of it. Oh, and then the bag, I'm carrying the black Saint Laurent bag. This I got as part of the collaboration with Nima Marcus when I did the styling collaboration, when I went to Nima Marcus. I originally picked out this same bag, but in suede and I ended up, I was just too afraid to use it. So I reached out to Nicola, who was my stylist from then, and she agreed to swap it. So I had never really used it. I think I used it for one photo shoot and just put it back in its box. So she kindly let me swap and I got the leather one and I much prefer it because I have been wearing it much, much more. It's just a very plain kind of simple, kind of 90s bag. So I'm just gonna hold it in my hand because it's not gonna fit on my shoulder because I've got too much going on. And that's it. And if the sun comes out a little bit, then I'm gonna wear these, which are my black, just very plain glasses. These are off-whites, these ones. Um, I picked those up when I was in Paris and I really like them because they're just very simple and plain. And I like that squared off look and my hair is back. I've been wearing my hair back a couple of times this week. Anyway, so that is everything and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> All right, another day and I am wearing a vintage trench. This is a Burberry trench and I'm wearing it with, actually this is a very vintagey theme outfit. So I went with this polo, which I think is, where's this from? I think it's Lily, Lily Silk, I think. And then uh, this vintage skirt. Now this skirt I've had for ages. I'm gonna put on screen here. I think one of the first times I got it. It just goes to show how long I've had this skirt, which is literally year. I mean, I'm talking about seven, eight years I've had this skirt and I still love it. It's still one of my favorite vintage skirt finds ever because of the paneling. It's so mod 60s and look at the belt that it's got right here. I just think it's so cool. It's such a cool skirt. I love it. Look at all the different panels of brown, light and dark. It's good, right? I know. Don't even tell me. I know it's good. And then I'm wearing it with a vintage Burberry trench coat on top. These are my Gia Borg boots from a couple of seasons ago. What is that black thing on the floor? And then I thought I would go with my Gucci 1955 here. You can see. I love this bag. And I like that it plays on the skirt because I feel like this skirt looks very kind of vintagey Gucci and this is based off of the old vintage 1955 so I feel like the brown and the browns they work really really well together and I thought I would just go with black glasses just to pick up on the polo and the boots but that is kind of it so it's just brown blacks really that's what I've got on today but I really like it right I'm in love with this it's really simple, it's cool, but it's not freezing, which is why I don't have any tights on. Because normally I probably bung on some like black sheer tights, but I'm okay at the moment, she says, and I've got the comfort of wearing this. If it gets too cold, I will just belt it and then I'll be good. So well, I'll be good enough, let's put it that way, unless I have to run out and buy an emergency pair of tights. But I like the idea of wearing black with one other color. And in this case, it's black with browns. So that's really the idea that I've got here. So I'm hoping that when you see me put these outfits together, you're getting ideas for yourself on how to put outfits together. So it's not just me going, oh, I'm wearing this and this and this, but it's why, why did I put that with that? And the reason why I come, like, for example, I'm wearing a black polo with this skirt because black polos are a good anchor throughout the whole winter. I think they anchor outfits really, really well. And I wanted to be a skinny, top because I knew I was going to be wearing like a bulkier shaped outer piece so skinnier 
bulk up here. I knew I wanted the top to be able to tuck into this little A-line cut skirt. I wanted to do like a knee-high boot. I'm actually looking for something else knee-high boot-wise. Something flat, but something that's higher on me. Because knee-high boots are never really knee-high. Look, because you can see where my knee is. And it's not ever that look. So I'm hoping to get something that's a bit higher and maybe a bit smarter. So I'm going to keep, I'm keeping my eyes peeled to see if I see something that will work. But until then, this is going to be more than fine. And then I've got my bag. All right, that's it. I'll see you later. I've got to stop waffling. All right, so going out and I was actually doing a TikTok and a reel showing how to style this tank top. And then I just like the look so much that I'm actually going to wear it to go out. So that's handy. So I have on a tank top. It's like knitted sleeveless i love it i just like the color of it i picked it up from a vintage shop in brooklyn stay tuned there is a vintage video like a vintage going thrifting and vintage shopping there is a video coming up in the next couple of weeks something like that so make sure you're subscribed so you do not miss that video so got that on i'm wearing my super wide margella jeans which i love to pieces they're almost like wide leg trouser but in denim that's the cut of them and it's super good and i just tucked in the front part just to show the waistline of the jean so you can really see like the waist in and it just flares out so i like that look of seeing all of that together and then bag wise i went with the mini telfar in the shearling because i think it looks so appropriate for the season and then i just wore like a t-shirt underneath the tank and that's kind of it, just to give an extra layer. So I'm just not just showing my bare arms all the way from here. I've got like a little bit of an extra layer and it makes a difference. Also, if you hate your arms, the top of your arms, it's also a good styling trick just to have a longer sleeve, a t-shirt, glasses. I'm going to go with the Loewe's. These are the Ibethas, which I love so much. You guys have seen how much I've worn these. And honestly, they go with everything. They go with your hair straight, your hair short, your hair curly. If you want to like make your outfit like, oh, Wow, you're making it look like a fashion outfit. I put these on, or you just look like an idiot. Either way, I like the look. I call these the retro TV screens because a lot of you said that's what they look like and they actually do agree with you. But that is the whole look. Oh, and then for a top, a jacket, hold on. All right, I'm gonna wear this jacket. This is from an older season of Urban Revivo. So I've worn this from a, a previous collaboration with them. And as I've told you before, I hold on to their pieces because they just last and they look so good. So I thought this looked really good because the color of it, it's like a cream color. So it works well with the trimming of the bag and the glasses. It doesn't all have to be the same exact color. But I just like that it's cropped, it's classic, right? It's a bit ladylike, but I'm dumbing it down because I'm wearing like, Uggs and like big baggy jeans but I just love that silhouette together and that is everything that is my look and I'm going out in it I love it and if you want to see how I put it together like my old thing from from scratch just check out either my Instagram or TikTok because I posted the video like how I put this entire look together but I love the colors of it and everything it looks so good if I do say so myself <laughs> good afternoon it is the afternoon and the weather is absolutely it's cold-ish, but it's really bright and sunny. You can probably see a little bit of the light coming through on the mirror. So I figured I would just wear all beiges today. I'm popping out to run some errands. I'm going to meet up with somebody as well a bit later. So I thought I would wear basically all beiges and browns head to toe. I have on the Frankie Shop jumper. This is the cropped cable knit one that I got from last fall, I think it was. I have it in three colours because I like it that much. I just think that they did such a good job on it. The pattern, the cut, where it stops, just the finishing of it, the overall quality is really, really good. I'm wearing it with these men's apron pants by West. They have this signature, you can see like apron part here that just sits as like a flap on top of the rest of the jean. This a rigid kind of denim. I have these already in a denim blue and I love them. I'll insert a picture here, I think maybe, so you can see what they look like. I wore them with, or have worn them once with a denim bustier top because the dark blues are so similar. Anyway, I loved them so much that I went ahead and ordered the beige ones, which I remember seeing in Paris in person. And ever since leaving the store, getting the blue, I was always thinking about this color because I love them so much. And this is exactly how I imagined wearing them, which is just with like, you know, creams and tans and those kind of colors. My camel coat, it's not cold enough quite yet, 
but I'm sure in a few weeks time, actually less than a few weeks, sod it, probably in a couple of weeks, I'm going to break out my camel coat. Yes, there is a camel that appears on the screen every time I say it. I'm going to be layering this underneath that coat because it's going to look so good. So for now, I've got my camel colored bag, which is the Kelly, the size 25. This was from Paris and that's it. That's kind of been my look. Um, Uggs on the feet again. I'm probably, I think I've already shown, I know I've already shown you in this for what I've been wearing this past few days, but they're just so comfortable. I know it makes me really lazy with the way I'm dressing as far as like my footwear because I keep wearing these bloody things, but I just thought the colour of them was just too good to not wear, right? It's just like the perfect boot colour for this whole look that I'm going for. Anyway, I'm going to go. That is it. I did a bit of like um, smoky-ish eye, not full on smoky, but a little bit on the eyes and that's that's kind of it a nude mouth that's it's me so i can't teach an old dog new tricks just wear the same thing but i love this look anyway i will see you for the next one bye <laughs> another day heading out and i am wearing basically black and green so i'm gonna put this down the floor i have on the frankie shop jacket it's come out again had this for a couple of seasons now a couple of a couple of winters i can't remember is it one winter or two i don't know i call it the ladybird jacket because look away it just goes out at the back just sticks juts out like ladybird wings and i'm wearing underneath this sweatshirt i'll link it for you below but that cozy as and then i have my shorts which are i think these are the sir or sir label something like that and then just tights and bottega boots are on the feet and then same off-white glasses which I'll show you right here I'm sorry about all the mess by the way the reason this looks like such a mess is because the renovations oops I burped the renovations are still going on so that is why there is mirrors here that's one here there's one right behind it so there's a lot of crap still going on unfortunately there's a massive story behind that contractor we had he just mysteriously just disappeared on us. We had to find someone new people. Fashion months, everything was shut down. We didn't have anyone, no work was going on. No one was in here. So everything's just been delayed. So anyway, that's a saga I don't want to keep talking about. Yes, and there is a video that's gonna come up, trust me, on that whole thing, like the do's and don'ts that we've learned along the way, as well as the before and afters, obviously, of what we've done, but it's, it's coming, trust me, it's coming. We're just trying to get it, get it to happen. I've just been posting little snippets of it on my Instagram, so in my stories, just keep a keep a look out for them because I have been posting little snippets of the renovations because I know a lot of you like to see how it's going. The Kelly Vintage Box Bag is coming out. Love this thing. And I like the look of wearing something very ladylike with the exact opposite, right? So I've got like the F off boots, uh, black tights, you know, it's all black really sweatshirt got the shorts on then i got the the frankie shop quilted jacket and then i just put this on just because i want to you know what i mean just complete opposite to what you'd think but that is the look that is everything i think i mentioned the glasses before on another day these are off-whites i really like these glasses they're exactly what i wanted something that was very simple yeah i love these oh god the battery's running out hold on hold on anyway that is the look okay um i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> with a new battery all right heading out my phone is ringing but i will answer that in a moment heading out to meet friends for lunch and i'm basically in head to toe creams this is margella jeans the jacket i can't remember i ordered it from london i got it i think it was last fall i think it's really nice it's like a kind of like a nice wool texture to it i'm just wearing it buttoned up i'm just wearing it high at the top and it's actually much lower at the bottom i love these margella jeans they're, they're like the gift that keeps on giving speaking of this is the gift from michael for our wedding anniversary which is that the kelly uh 25 i absolutely cannot still believe that i have it still in shock um but yeah, that's Paris, and that was from Michael. And then after that, I'm gonna wear these Loewe glasses. So it's kind of a lot going on, isn't it? But I like it. It's a lot going on once you put the glasses on. Always is with these. I think they call them like the scuba glasses, and I can see why, because they literally look like snorkeling goggles or something. So that's like the vibe of them. But anyway, so that is kind of the whole look. Slightly smart, but really kind of very casual. And I've got my Samed boots on. You know how much I love these? I think these are like, what, three years now into, with them, into them? I think they're still available. 
I will link them for you. And I think they are absolutely fantastic. They're so good. And it's definitely a boot that I never realized I needed so much. I thought I only just needed black and I don't because I've worn these to death. But anyway, so that is the whole look and I'll see you hopefully the next one. Bye. All right, another day and this is another mild-ish day. New York is having some really like up and down weathers. Let me know if it's like that where you are. So I figured I would go with um, just wearing the shearling vest top, I can't speak, <laughs> by Isabel Morant. This is the one I said they got in black as well. And I'm wearing it with a t-shirt, just made well, I think. And then the Ganny jeans, you guys have seen these. These are not a stranger to my channel. I'm wearing my Uggs again <laughs> and the Gucci Jackie bag. I love this color. This green is just, oh, it's so good. I just have a thing for Kelly, like Kelly green bags. Kelly green, period. I just love it. But in a bag, it's like, it's like nothing else. But I just like the, the round kind of shape of it. And I thought it would just work with this. Right. So that is me today. The glasses are the same as before, I think, which is the off-white. The cap is vintage. And that is everything. If this is the end, because I'm not sure. If this is the end, I'll see you next week, okay? And I'll uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok as usual. Let me know which outfit was your favorite and let me know as well if you try anything from Urban Revival. I'm done. Bye. Bye.